From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the key. I'm putting that in my suicide note. Bro got pissed off of one Dane TDM post that he made a kids bop song. There won't be a kids bop version of this. It's been it's all everywhere in my feed. I cannot escape it. It's so agitating on how bad it is. There are songs worse than it. I think I'd rather listen to fucking Karma by Jojo Siwa. And that song made my ears bleed. KSI's having a meltdown over it. It's funny. The whole thing was different. It would be better, right? Fantastic. This was literally, literally my top comment. If anything, it's actually my the most liked comment on the fucking music video. It's got more likes than my actual music video. A comment, 202,000 likes on this comment. Why aren't you liking the video? I oh, know, this is crazy, this hate. Well, I'm getting the same treatment as Rebecca Black when she released Friday, but my music is good. You just can't handle criticism well. And what I've noticed is that when big YouTubers get an inflated ego, they get incredibly full of themselves that so any dispute or any uh you know negative uh, words that come their way and hurt their their feelings will automatically be blamed oh it's force you know i can't people can't hate something unpopular okay i put money i put work in it doesn't change the fact that it's dog shit i genuinely wish it wasn't forced down on my page but literally everyone in my my for you page is making fun of it actually now that i'm here let's see how long it takes before i get a uh a, a reel an instagram reel uh making fun of the song okay here's the first one i have let me unmute it ugly and taking up the here you go One back to the Dan TDM thing, which I'm pretty this is probably where it all down downward spiraled is he Dan TDM made one one tweet and KSI had a mental break that I don't even know how many tweets he made, that's how many he made. Like he's he's just arguing with himself. And then I saw something he addressed it KSI addressed the Dan TDM drama. There's no drama. Dan TDM just fucking left. He doesn't care. I, I, I look up KSI because I'm, you know, I'm looking for, you know, tweets to snip and create into a video. And it's just everyone making fun of him or quote tweeting him. You need to learn to take criticism. Why go into the YouTube scenario and you can't take criticism? I understand there's a lot of people complaining that your song's trash, but you won't admit that people think it's dog shit, okay? You keep saying that it's a good song or it's better than certain songs, but people don't agree with you. Millions of people cannot be wrong. It doesn't make any sense. Millions of people back in, you know, in the 19th century said that Hitler was wrong, okay? And Hitler was like, no, nah, I'm doing the right thing. Was Hitler right? Fuck no! Fuck no! It doesn't make any sense! You argue with a fam- uh, like a family-friendly creator that grew an entire generation and then you cry over him criticizing your dog shit product and then you drop a kids bop song? I don't understand you two there's a I don't understand humans. I, I genuinely don't. I don't know what goes through their heads. Okay, I feel like when you get to a certain level of fame, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Anyways, that'll be all.